Hi everyone, and thanks again for tuning in to another Watson Brothers video. Ian and I are here to discuss the stats of November 2021. We're doing it a day after Penticton hit a record high of 21.5 degrees, hot spot of Canada. It was the hot spot and it continues to be a gorgeous day in the Okanagan. If you don't live here, as my brother says, you should. The stats for November, again, astounding. We've been having the same speech every month for the last year now. The units listed were actually up about 4% versus a year ago, which sounds great. However, sales are up 35%, wow. meaning that there's that gap between uh, supply and demand. And what does supply and demand do to pricing? It makes that rise even faster and farther than it ever has. In fact, prices are up, um, dollar volume are up 65% versus a year ago. A couple other things of interest. If you said, how many houses do we have between the border and here? We'll call it Kelowna. There are 354 single family homes, which is down 30% from where it was last year. And the only other stat I'm going to trouble you with today is the list to sell ratio. We don't talk about it very often, but last month it hit a very interesting milestone and in it was actually above 100%, meaning that more homes were sold on the market than actually came on the market. It was actually at 101%. Crazy stats, crazy stats. The bank meets again on December the 8th to set the bank rate. We don't think that's going to change, Ian. That's going to stay at a quarter point. However, Ian and I are watching inflation with some interest next year. We went through last year with about a negative 0.5. People just couldn't get out and spend money. This year, we're looking at about a 5% inflation rate. And keep in mind, that is with summer fires, COVID travel restrictions still in place, obviously feeling for the, the folks out west with the floods that have just happened. Uh, that knocked out our rail, that knocked out our, our road supplies. Even with all of that, people are spending money. So we think next year, Ian, inflation's gonna continue. We will see interest rates get adjusted. Uh, Ian will talk a little bit about that because you've got a stat that puts it all into perspective. Well, it does, and I, and I think homeowner. next year, uh, you're gonna see a lot of press and media coverage over the pending interest rate increase. And we haven't had them for a number of years here, but let's put it in perspective. A quarter point interest rate will affect your pocketbook per $100,000 of about $11. So if you had a $500,000 mortgage, which is kind of normal for, for, for most families, a $500,000 mortgage will cost you an extra $56. So half a tank of gas, five coffees, however you want to justify it, mm -hmm. um, each quarter point is going to cost you about 50 bucks. So keep that in mind when everybody says the sky is falling, the sky is falling. The reality is it's not. It's not. Five coffees. So another thing we're going to watch for, and we really hope it doesn't happen, is the government right now is putting forth some policy discussions with regards to their perspective of adjusting the markets, Ian. We always say, let the markets figure things out. It's got it right for 500 years. Don't start messing with it. The programs that they've put in place in the past, you know, it adjusts one thing, but they say, ooh, that adjusted another. The one big one right now is that cooling off period, Ian, meaning that somebody can write a contract and the government is saying, geez, if at any reason for at any time over seven days after you put pen to paper, you would like to get out of that contract, you can. I would like to bonk myself in the side of the head and say the logic behind that is uh, I can't figure it out, but that is one of the things that are on uh, the table. So we will watch and report any changes that policy does change with, but please, please, government, don't get involved. That would be our Christmas wish that uh, they don't change things and let the market organically take care of itself. And it will. Yep. We're already seeing a little bit of a slowdown from a purchaser's standpoint, simply because there are no houses to buy. Yeah. If you have some spare time over the holidays, which a lot of you will, and you wanted to do some upgrades to your home, thinking about maybe selling in the new year, the top five just in actually came in uh, last week and painting. No surprise there is always number one. Flooring. Ian and I always say, if you can see more than three types of flooring when you're standing in one spot, get rid of one. Two maximum. Brighten up the kitchen. White is in. The old dark oaks are, are gone. Doesn't mean you have to replace your kitchen. You can just give it a reface and a refinish. Uh, dated countertops. Get rid of those. And the big one, Ian, is appliances. We've got a fantastic appliance uh, salesperson if you want to uh, reach out to us for that. And we're encouraging people to get ahead of the, the curve because appliances right now, they can take up to a year if you want them to match. And it is quite nice to have matching brands in there. And the last one is just making sure your bathrooms are squeaky clean. No hard water stains, uh, glass is etched, all that stuff. Just update it, 
clean it, brighten it, makes your house look a lot more, and none of these things, other than appliances maybe, uh, are that expensive. A couple other things that Barrett and I are going to keep an eye on as we move into 2022 is the ongoing construction boom in Kelowna. Yeah. It has uh, had a huge impact. It just that, for example, the appliances that Barrett mentioned, it can take you a year to get appliances delivered to your home, and it is simply because there are just not enough of them to go around. We've got a number of projects in town that have completely sold out in the fall here and construction will start on those in the spring and we're going to keep a close eye to see what sort of impact that has both on supply of materials and product and within the trades from a labor standpoint. It's going to be some exciting stuff coming uh, downtown next year. We'll talk about that a little bit more next mm -hmm. month, Ian. We're also going to have our predictions for 2022. Don't want to miss that episode. But as always, we just want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. We thank all of our customers that reached out to us in 2021. A safe and happy new year. We'll be back in 30 days. Mm -hmm.